So we all know by now that Trading212 is providing 5.1% interest on uninvested cash in its investment platform, which is basically the highest you can find on any easy access savings account in the entire United Kingdom. You also know that I like to personally check out all the UK investment platforms and keep up to date with what the best is for the consumer. And here is a platform that I talked about a while ago and then didn't really talk much more about it and it's called Lightyear. As you can see, my portfolio balance is only eight pounds. But anyway, I've realized that Lightyear has actually become very competitive when it comes to providing interest. Now this feature is kind of hidden because it's not really well advertised on the app, but if you scroll down under where it says cash, there's also a menu item called vaults. And in it, you can see under Great British Pounds, you can currently earn interest of an annual equivalent rate of 5.1%. So is Lightyear giving Trading212 a run for its money? So in this video, we're gonna go through Lightyear's new offering. So as you can see, Lightyear is currently providing 5.1% as an annual equivalent rate on uninvested cash if you move it into the vaults. So this is the highest and biggest rate yet, and it really does go toe to toe with Trading212. Maybe that's why Trading212 increased rates from 5% to 5.1 to become more competitive with them. By the way, if you do want to sign up to either of these platforms, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below where when you sign up, you should get a bonus to either Trading212 or Lightyear, whichever one you prefer. But anyway, you can see that this new Lightyear vault is easy access, meaning that you can withdraw your money at any time without any penalties. So just like with Trading 212's interest on uninvested cash, Trading 212, however, does integrate it more seamlessly into the, you know, earn interest on cash because if you want to get the higher rate, you have to accept the terms and conditions and then that money is put into money market funds. But you don't have to go through another whole menu item to get there. I think that your cash being separated does add a few layers of, you know, steps for the average person. So it actually makes it more difficult to see that you can earn this high amount. Personally, I love the fact that, you know, your cash is separated from your vaults because I've always hated the fact that with Trading212, you know, especially with their debit card, everything is shared out from one pot. It's so easy to spend some of your investments or to invest some of your savings, for example. So I do definitely like the fact that vaults is a separate item that you have to add money into and then you can withdraw at any time to your balance back into your cash here. For me, that's a positive. Some people might think that as a negative. So this higher interest that you earn, of course, has something to do with money market funds, as we'll find out soon. As you can see, they clearly state that this is an investment product with variable rates. So currently on your pounds, you can get 5.1%, which matches trading two on two. On euros, you get 3.59% at the time of filming. And with dollar, you get 5.13%, which is actually higher than the central rate, as you may know. But even with the pounds, you get 5.1%, and that is higher than the Bank of England's rate at 5% currently. Now with these underlying investments, this follows the Bank of England. So these investments are benchmarked against the Bank of England's variable overnight interest rate. And this is calculated on a daily basis, but it isn't paid out daily, unlike Trading212. So Trading212 definitely has the advantage there. It is more of a psychological thing being paid out daily. And realistically, it doesn't make a difference over the whole year because this is still calculated daily. But receiving daily interest is always fun, you know, when you are a consumer. Anyway, these underlying funds are managed by BlackRock. So these are looked after by BlackRock. Of course, if you haven't heard of BlackRock, BlackRock is one of the largest asset managers in the world. They own iShares and together they have over $10 trillion under management. The best thing about this light here vault is that there are no minimum amounts that you have to put in. The minimum amount is one pound, just like with Trading212, and there are no maximums, again, like Trading212. And of course, your money is held with BlackRock, a very trusted worldwide fund manager. So your investments in this Lightyear vault are put under AAA, triple A rated low risk funds, and again, managed by BlackRock. And Lightyear vault promises that you have fast withdrawal times and you are paid out interest monthly. So again, your interest is earned daily, but paid out monthly. You can have this in three different currencies, pound, euros, and dollars. However, Trading212 has 13 currencies. So Trading212 beats it out there. And the best thing about this is that you have light speed withdrawals. You have instant withdrawals back to your available cash. But of course, if you do want to get that back into your bank account, you might have to wait at least one day. Now, the place where this all falls apart when you compare it with Trading212 is when it comes to protections. 
So currently as it stands, Lightyear as a group are not FSCS protected, which I know is incredibly important for investors in the UK. Even just hearing that protection makes it seem like this financial institution is a lot more reliable. However, your US securities are SIPC protected up to $500,000 and EU investor protection up to 20,000 euros. But of course we are not in the US neither are we still in Europe. Now the silver lining to this is that Lightyear is FCA regulated which means by law they do have to keep clients money separate from the money that they use for the business. So this greatly reduces instances where you know Lightyear could do something wrong and you could lose a lot more cash than you would otherwise. So for me personally I don't really worry about FSCS protection because we also know that these funds, these underlying funds are not in cash and they're not typically protected by FSCS under trading two on two anyway. However, just the fact that Lightyear doesn't have the FSCS protection badge does make it lose out to trading two on two in just that fact. If you wanted to know what the underlying investment is, it is in the BlackRock ICS Sterling Liquidity Fund. And you can find out more about this fund here if you wanted to yourself. There is a nifty calculator that you can calculate how much you could potentially earn yearly or monthly through holding certain amount of investment. You can see that the amount you actually get is not 5.1%. So for example here, the fund one day yield is 5.08% and Lightyear take a fee of 0.1%. So the actual APR that you receive is 4.98%, but your AER is 5.1%. And this is potentially what Trading212 do too to get that 5.1%. So this fund has a fund size of 41 billion, five day yield is 5.08%. The average day to maturity of the bonds held are around 51 days. And if you wanted to, you can go into fund breakdown here, asset type, as you can see, certificate of deposits, treasury, repurchase agreements, which are basically bonds, government, agency repurchase agreements and things like that. So recently I got a question about the trading two on two daily interest and how it doesn't really add up to 5.1%. This might actually answer the question. So here it says the rate shown is 5.1% AER. It's what you get after a fee of 0.1%. So with light here, there is a fee of 0.1%. However, as you can see from the calculations, 5.08% minus their 0.1% fees, you get 4.98%. However, it is only 5.1% when you compound the daily interest. That's how they managed to get that high 5.1% number. But this isn't exactly comparable with like a bank interest rate. It is actually 4.9% as an APR. So potentially trading two on two is doing something similar to that where it is daily compounded to get to that 5.1% AER. So make sure to check out some of my other videos and I'll see you in the next video.